Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Bloodborne. And today, we're going to go take down Captain Crunch first. And then we're going to go ahead and finish up everything I had to do in Bergenworth. Then from there, we'll find off Rom. This is like the fifth episode I think I recorded today. Like, Jesus Christ almighty. I'm trying to get as many episodes done as I can. Not just because, you know, it's just like, oh yeah, I forgot you could do that. But then he fucking launched his attack at me anyway. Just stupid, by the way. I think that's fucking retarded. Alright. Yeah, for some reason, like, whenever they do jumping attacks like that, you can't fucking... No, Alex. No, no, no. You will not. Where's my blood, Echoes? Student uniform, whatever. Well, I think what happened was I think I died over there, didn't I? I'm getting way too ahead of myself. I'm getting way too afraid. Did I forget to put on the damn rune? Son of a bitch. I want to get my blood echoes back. Well, what am I going to do? So I'm just going to fucking go back and get that fucking rune put on. No, I'm playing it safe. I know he's going to fucking blast my ass. Let me grab these real quick. Come on, asshole. Come on, asshole. Now you want to fight me, bitch. That's right. That's right, punk ass. Try that shit again, bitch. Why can't I fucking interrupt that, though? Come on. Thing is, you have to get a key for the door I'm standing next to. No. Why am I never had this much trouble finding him? I mean, yeah, he's difficult, but he's not that fucking difficult. By the way, that, arc that arcane attack is stupid as shit. Why it does that much fucking damage, I don't know why. And that's not going to be the last time we're going to see that either. I forget what it's called. It's like the arcing star or something like that. Something stupid. Something with a star. I'm letting him beat me up. Why the fuck was I doing that? So that takes care of... That takes care of him. Fucking thank god. All he drops is shitty ass antidotes. Or... Blue elixirs. My bad. So we got the rest of the clothes for the student uniform. I want to see something real quick. What... What are the stats for the graveyard? Better resistance to poison and stuff like that. Now the student uniforms on the other hand... Well... Uh, we have two of those. I don't know why. Oh, shit. You know, fuck it. Who cares? Uh, we can't get that door open. Yes, you can summon here, but you can't use it with Rom. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred, and when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with a child. So, basically, that's Murga. So, yeah, they're saying... Basically, they, they impregnated Yarnum, so that way they can give birth to uh, Murgo, who is another great one. So, let's go back real quick. Spider hides all manner of rituals, certain to reveal nothing, for true enlightenment needs need not to be scared. I was, okay, I'm just going to say this now. If you summon here, the only reason you should summon here is to help you fight the hunter. That's it. Because you can't use the guy to help you fight Rom. So, it's practically pointless. If you want me to prove it to you, folks, I can prove it to you. Just give me one minute. Let me kill off this fucking bug guy up here. Let me get my item. Actually, let me heal up first. Yeah, it's going to be this guy here. He's going to jump, and then I'm going to fuck him up. Oops. I shouldn't fuck up myself. That takes care of him. He's dead. We're going to run upstairs real quick. We're going to grab whatever in this chest, which should be another spell. I believe it is. It's something. It's a, it's a pretty... Aha! The empty phantasm shell. Which I don't remember actually what that does, to be honest. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, that's right. It gives you arcane power on your weapons. Empty invertebrate shell that is said to be familiar, or to be a familiar, of a great one. The alien church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates, or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. Basically, fire, paper, and bolt. But this time, you have arcane that you... What the fuck? He didn't scare me. The hole scared me. I remember falling down here a few times and dying. So take this key, come over here, open this door. Now, come over here. That guy's going to jump. Oh, he's already dead. You can talk to him, and he's going to give you insight, and he's going to point forward. But what the fuck is he pointing at? We'll see when I fucking come back. Why do I keep using the word fuck? <laughs> Actually, what you can do, kill him. If you kill him, he gives you, I think, a great one's wisdom. I think so. So kill him off. We don't need him. He's stupid anyway. Hey, there's not even down there. Shit. Gives us an eye, which is a rune. 
Uh, let's read about it real quick, actually. Oh! Fuck! Forgot about you being down there. Okay, anyway, back to what I was about to do. Okay, so the eye rune. A transcription of eyes spoken by the left behind great ones allows one to make additional discoveries. Eyes symbolize the truth Master Willem sought in his research. Disillusioned by the limits of of human intellect, Master Willem looked to beings from higher planes for guidance and sought to line his brain with eyes in order to ele elevate his thoughts. Basically, your discovery goes up. What discovery is, is you have the ability to discover, again, more items from fallen enemies. So if that's something that you really do want, well, then go ahead and all be, take it. That's really up to you folks out there. I actually might do it myself. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll think about it. Give me a minute and I'll, I'll think about what I'm going to do with it. Fucking frenzy, assholes. Good thing is they don't do damage, but they do cause frenzy. So if they get multiple attacks on you, they might fuck you up. I guess they actually... Wait a minute. Apparently they do do damage, but they don't do enough to where, like, you see it. Okay, so we got some more sedatives just in case. We're going to head back into the Hunter's Dream. I'm going to level up. I'm going to buy some stuff. I'm going to repair my weapons, of course, just as usual. And we're going to head off and fight Rom. So that sounds like a good thing to me. We're going to equip runes, too. Before I forget, of course. Thing is, like, I know this is, like, my fifth episode this just today, but I'm trying to get as many episodes done as possible this weekend. That way I have things to, like, edit and render throughout the week. You know, and have them uploaded and stuff like that, so. This might be one of those rare occasions where I upload on the week as well. We need our strength up to 30, don't we? Fucking A. <laughs> uh, just to equip a cannon, too. We might not actually get... All the way upgraded to it, but I'll, I'll try. I'll try my best, folks. Don't worry. Let's see if we can fortify anything. Nope, didn't think so. All right. Yeah, blood gem fortification. Nah. Uh, let's see. What else did I needed to do? Change of runes. That's another thing. I was thinking, like, wasn't there something else I needed to do? I always think that, too. We can acquire more blood echoes, or we can get rid of my higher blood vial maximum. Which, nah, why the hell not? Where is it? Uh... There somewhere. I know it is. Visual attacks with store HP. Blood Rapture. There it is. Actually, what's this one on right now? Radiance. Vile HP recovery up. Yeah, definitely better. Alright, so what do we have on right now? Visual attacks grant more blood echoes. Well, if I already get more blood echoes anyway, I might as well just like do something different. This gives me plus three. Uh, let's do this one. There we go. Alright, so we have the ability to... Discover more items, then we have the ability to gain health back from just killing enemies. Or just doing visible attacks, I should say. We got all the weapons we can acquire right now. We we have yeah, we have the cannon. Clothes. We don't have everything we don't have all the clothes just yet, but I'm not going for all the clothes anyway. You can't really buy any runes, we can buy some of those. Pins. You know what? No, fuck it. How many of these do I have? Twenty eight stored. How many can I buy? Fifty? Jesus fucking Christ. Buy like 25. Alright, we'll buy like 16 of them. And one more just for the go. <laughs> like always, for some strange reason. Alright, back to Burgerworth. Head back upstairs. I'm gonna summon a hunter. Just so I can prove to you folks out there that even if you did summon a hunter, it ain't gonna matter. Now keep in mind, when you fight Rom, there's gonna be a cutscene that happens at the end of it. So, you're going to be teleported somewhere else. We're going to be teleported to Yahar Ghul. Once we get there, I'm going to go find the key to the healing church. We're going to head back and we're going to take out those two bosses at the healing church. So, as of right now, everything we've done, we're, we're pretty much good. Yusefka's still alive. Uh, we killed off the hunter that Eileen was going for. And for the most part, everything is pretty much set in stone. We're pretty much good to go. And nothing to really worry about. So exactly what the fuck was Willem pointing at? Well, he's pointing at... He's pointing towards this way. Come on, hurry up. I want to go fight Rom. Old Hunter Mensa Scholar Damien has arrived by the, rails, by the Bells. Residence, get your ass in here. Thing is, this, this one don't get... Oh, shit. I'm getting out of here. Basically, he doesn't follow you. Yeah, he stops following you. So we're going to go ahead and teleport. Jump into the water, and now you landed inside inside lake. When you first meet Rom, you can actually get a, a sneak attack on him if you wanted to. I recommend it, but eh, it's up to you, really. Let's actually go ahead and whip out 
some bullets just in case. You can get a free couple hits. You can't do an interrupt or I don't think you even get a visceral attack on him though. So, how does a ROM fight play out exactly? Well, it's shit. Um, it's not that bad. You see these spiders? If you tech them in the head three times, they die. If you tech them from the side, which is the non-armored part of the bodies, you do a crap load of damage. They do not drop blood echoes. And, wait, what the fuck? He followed me. That's the first time that ever happened. So I've been proven wrong. All right, kick ass. Yeah, usually like when I get him to come, I spawn him in. He never fucking follows me. So, actually, well, shit, you can go ahead and whip him out. I didn't think that was going to work. All right. I really don't care, to be honest. I'm past the point of caring. I was going to do all this stuff on my own. If anything, he's going to fight them. He's going to fight out the smallest spiders to begin with anyway, so it's really no big deal. Every time Rom teleports, after the first teleport, he's going to have new attacks. But every time he teleports, he's going to spawn in more spiders. I think there's like a max of like 50 spiders that can be on screen at one time. This place is fucking huge, so... Seeing that possibility doesn't sound, you know, yeah. All right, so that's that attack. You have to get back and away from that one. You can actually st you can attack him while he's teleporting as well. These small ass spiders do do a lot of damage, so be very careful of them. And when they jump in there, they do like a head slam attack that does a shitload of damage too. Now, as you can tell, Rom he started like leaning up there for a second. Just sprint. You can avoid every single ic icicle attack by sprinting. This next attack he's going to probably do, whenever he does it, whenever he starts summoning like icicles from the ground, which should be not that attack, but it's another attack. This one, when he rolls on his side, he will summon icicles from the ground. Just keep dodging. Just lock onto him and just keep dodging. I'm gonna let him uh, fight off all these fucking guys. Or just basically just find a, a nice place where you can avoid all contact with, um, the damn things. I'm gonna get away from the fucking spiders because they can kill me. They just killed off Mensis, Scholar, so he's dead. So Damien's dead. He really wasn't that useful to begin with. Yeah, he did keep some of the spiders off me, but eh, not really a big deal. Again, these spiders are kind of annoying, but if you wanted to take all, if you want to fight all the spiders, you can. The thing is, you can you can just dodge like that. It's it's no real big deal. Thing about thing I actually like about Dark Souls 3 though. In comparison to this game, is the fact that you can actually sprint in any direction while locked onto an enemy. So that totally helps. It really does. I'm gonna try to get in close. And basically, if you find an opening to like one of Rom's sides without any spiders, go for it. So there you go. According to the internet, that is the hardest boss in the game. So then we got the kin, uh, kin gold blood. Let's go ahead and use that. That's level 12. That's the highest level of blood echoes we can get, which is 20,000. It's ridiculous. Look around here and see if you can find Yarnum. There she is. Well, the ghost of Yarnum, pretty much. Well, she's a ghost, but... Yeah, it's kind of a really weird story with all this kind of stuff going on right now. So what's going to happen now is pretty much... It's going to turn the moon into a blood moon. So now that this is a blood moon, different NPC locations will change. Which also means I believe that we can go find Eileen. And after looking at the Blood Moon, we just passed out. Now, if you looked at Yarnum really closely, she had, like, blood coming from, this, from like, basically her womb. Yeah. So, she was the mother of a great one, pretty much. I think it either got killed off or something. You'll have to look into the lore yourselves, because I'm not a particular genius when it comes to the lore of this game. I'm not a know-it-all of this game, but I fucking love this game to death. Yeah, it's... It's a badass game. This is like up there with Bioshock with me. Like this game is art. Like there's no doubt about it. Now the other Souls games on the other hand, to me, aren't really that good. But Ritual Secret Broken, Seek the Nightmare Reborn. So now, remember this area where to go with with the Tonsil Stone? Well guess what? We don't have to put up with that damn door being locked anymore. Now we can go to Yahar Ghul, the Unseen Village. And these guys, whew. Again, these are Huntsmen, but they look different, don't they? What, what's so different about these Huntsmen, Alex? Well, as you can see, they're red. Basically, these guys that are red, sometimes they drop items, sometimes they don't. Uh, the thing with them, they can be respawned multiple times. Yep, that's how that works. There's going to be a bell-ringing bitch that respawns enemies with any, like, red 
tint to them, whether it be spiders or huntsmen or whatever the case may be. They're typically weaker than your average enemy, but sometimes a little bit stronger too in like attack. Defense wise, they can they tend to be kind of weaker. Depends on where you're at, I guess. For the most part, they're weaker. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. We'll come down here real quick. Grab this bloodstone chunk. Head down this way. There's gonna be a shortcut down this way, but we can't acquire that shortcut just yet because we don't we haven't gone completely up. So yeah. Alright, take out that guy. This guy's gonna come over here, he's gonna try slash me in the face. Now wipe the floor with him. Again, usually they spawn items, but for the most part they don't. Iron Yargul Helm. There's gonna be some amygdalas floating around the city, so yeah. Yeah, look at this. This is the unseen village. Look, there's Amygdala there. There's a fucking Amygdala right there. They're everywhere pretty much for the most part, so. They're they're not aggressive, they won't attack you. And though well, actually I'll take that back. There's two that will attack you. But for the most part, they're not aggressive, so. They're pretty passive. There's like two or so that actually will do anything to you at all. Uh did we come from this way? Yeah we did. We came from this way. I, I just I was looking, I was thinking like, I don't think we came from that way. Alright, so we have 50,000 blood echoes. I'm going to level up, of course. That always helps. Leveling up is always a nice thing to do. I'm going to see if I can upgrade my weapons. I'm going to see if I can buy anything. No, I can't buy anything. Because you need a badge to buy anything, really. So far, so good. We are actually cleaning up Bloodborne like nobody's business. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Load up. Get my, get my strength up. Try to get that damn freaking cannon. How many uh, echoes do I need? 21? Damn, so I'm going to start needing like 30,000 or so just for all that shit. Yeah, I know I'm wasting echoes like nobody's business, but at the same time, like, really doesn't matter. Uh, they're the blue elixirs because who needs them? Let's see if I can upgrade or anything like that. Yeah, blood gym fortifications do help, but eh, it's not really much to worry about. I want to see if I can fortify. I can fortify my cane. All right, kick ass. Well, now they're both level 7, so I'm going to be using my cane for a while now. Now we have a different... Actually, hang on. We need to head back to... Where is it? Is it Grand Cathedral? The Church of the Good Chalice is... Yeah. Yeah, not functioning at this time. So go to Cathedral Ward. You can't go to the Grand Cathedral. So go to Cathedral Ward. After you kill Rom, we have two more things we need to do. I'm getting pretty excited. Um, we have one more... Actually, we technically have two more. There's a mandatory... Mandatory... Fuck. What do they call them? Umbilical cord. You get it from finding one of the bosses in a nightmare later. That's later. That's close to the end of the game. As of right now, we have one one umbilical cord we can get. I'm not doing the one with the, the, the whore, as they call her. So, that's one umbilical cord I'm not going to get. Instead, I'm going to get... Instead, I'm going to get the other one I want to go get real quick. So... Now, what we're going to do, real, real fast, I, I, I just keep talking, don't I? <laughs> we're going to go ahead, we're going to run up here, we're going to find out these guys, and we're going to go. We're gonna go meet Eileen, and she's going to give us a badge. There's going to be Hunter on the inside. I'm not going to attempt to fight the Hunter. Why? Because the Hunter sucks. You can go find videos of him somewhere else, because I'm not going to fucking fight him. I hate him. As you can tell, it is technically nighttime, but it's a blood moon. So, most of these creatures are going to be asleep, and most of them are going to be gone. So, here's Eileen. She already cleaned up practically everybody that there needs to be. Okay. Yeah, this next, um, hunter sucks, dick. No, Eileen. So, we got the weight gesture. Try to this my score to settle. I, yeah, if you kill her here, she'll drop... The Crow Hunter badge. Thank fucking God. Okay. So we got that. We got a new gesture, which is weight. Uh, the gesture that... Actually, hang on. I want to see something real quick. Do we even have it? Wave, conviction, whatever. No, I don't. No! Don't do it. Change it. Do I have what I want? Do I have make contact? Actually, no. I know where to get make contact at. Let me show you where this fucking Hunter guy is. How do we get 7,000 Echoes? Uh, again, like I said, this guy is a fucking prick. You can't use Eileen to help you fight this fight. Look how much damage he does. He has a repeating pistol and I think a Chikage, which reminds me, I have not even shot off the Chikage, did I? 
Nope, don't think so. So that takes care of that hunter. I'm not fucking with him. He has an old hunter bone, which allows him to do quickening of footsteps, or uh, quickening steps, pretty much. So he can dodge a shitload of attacks just because of that fucking ability. Stupid. All right. We're already leveled up anyway. So next place we need to go is Yusefka's. And you can get there by... We need to go to Central Yarnum. Yeah, we need to head back to Central Yarnum. I... No. Well, yes, we, we need to go back to Central Yarnum no matter what. But we need to go back to the sick room. We need to head outside, through the gate, head back inside Yusefka's building, and then go fight the imposter. Well, not fighter, but killer, pretty much. All right. Uh, what was I going to equip? There was something I wanted to put on. I just don't remember what it was. Damn it. Son of a bitch. I don't even remember myself. All right, so we're going to get that taken care of. And then we're going to head right back into Yahar Ghoul. Oh, wait. I forgot to read about the, the thing. And we have to go buy the blades now. So, yeah. That's almost all the weapons done. That should be almost all the weapons, I believe. Come on, game. The Blades of Mercy suck. They're not my personal favorite. I was going to show off the Chicago. All right, wherever it is. Chicago, first of all. And I need to read about the, the new badge I got. Wherever the hell it is. Quarter badge. Badge of a hunter, a hunter. Badger. Badge of a hunter of hunters. Who hunts those who have become adled with blood. The badge of the hunter of hunters is quietly passed down from generation to generation, usually to an outsider from the lands. To be entrusted with this cursed badge, one must be strong, resilient to the seduction of blood and gracious when taking a comrade's life. There you go. Basically, she was friends with Gascoigne for the most part, I believe. And then he turned... Yeah, so there you go. Let's uh, go ahead and show off the abilities that you can do with this. R1 combo... Should just be just four hits, I believe. Uh, charged R2. It's this. Jump R2. I can do it. There's a jumping R2. Sprinting R1. And then, of course, sprinting R2. And then back R1. Yep. Why do I question it like, I, like you guys know exactly what I'm going to do? All right. Into a trick. There you go. So now basically what's going on is I'm losing health. So here's the combo. But you do a shitload more damage. You do like a shitload of damage, but you lose health on the way. And it takes up a shitload of stamina. It's R2. Uh, let's see. Back R1. Back R2. Then uh, jumping R2. Sprinting R1. Sprinting R2. Hold on. Let me try that again. There you go. Sprinting R2. And then what else is there? Combo. Into an L1. And there you go. Basically, you put blood on it and it pretty much becomes stronger. So that's exactly what that does. We gotta have the hunters. We gotta have the sock lever on. At all times. Just in case. But mainly the thread cane. The thread cane is what I want to play with. Bosses, I use the cleaver on because it's the most efficient and. Happens to be the quickest of weapons I have. And that you pretty much will have. You can kill any boss with any weapon particularly. It's just a matter of preference, really. Alright, come on. I know what you want to do. I know what you want to fucking do. I know what you want to do to me, bitch. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to get my health back. See? Got my health back. It gives you a small amount whenever you do visible attacks. But trust me, Blood Rapture is nice. <coughs> oh. God, that was unprofessional of me. I just choked on my own spit, apparently. I keep fucking talking. Usually I, like, meet my mic, but... Oh, okay. I didn't mean to cough through that. That was completely unprofessional of me, but... At the same time, it's a damn Let's Play. Like, anybody's gonna be watching this... Like, anybody's gonna be watching these many videos and, you know... All together, I guess. Or, like, anybody ever made it this far yet. Alright, let's head, uh, all the way back upstairs real quick. We'll go wipe out Yusefka's imposter, and we'll take her umbilical cord. Don't consume it! Alright, let's let her talk. Alright, you dumb bitch. Yeah, that's... I'm trying to get, like, a good look at what she looks like. Ah, she's alright. Come on, hurry up. Shut your damn... Shut your damn whore mouth. So you kill her, she drops an item, one-third of the umbilical cord. And there you go. That wipes out. That wipes out Yosefka's imposter. Right. 
if you come here before Rom, you have to fight her. And she will not drop the umbilical cord. So don't fuck with that. Come here after you fight off Rom. And then you can get the umbilical cord. That takes care of everything I need to do. I have two of the three umbilical cords that I want. I have all the optional bosses completed. I believe so. Um, I have all the weapons I can get at the moment, except for the Blade of Mercy. But that's probably gonna cost like a shitload anyway. Let me let me think here, folks. Uh, so far, so far, I think everything's good. I mean, I can check the boss list to be on the safe side to see what bosses I need to worry about. The Beast Claw, I'm going to show off in my account. On my original account, I'm going to show off the Beast Claw there, so we're not going to fuck with that. I'm not going to go fuck with the rituals just to show it off. Can't upgrade. I don't know why the hell I was thinking that. Made her stick her hand out for nothing. Alright. Oh! The Healing Church is the next place I need to go to. Yeah, okay. Budget and fortification. My saw cleaver. You never know when you're going to need it. Ooh, plus 94. Damn. That helps a fuckload. Ooh. Damn, we're getting some pretty damn good uh, things over here. Typically, when you upgrade your weapons, you do get increased, you know, slots for, like, yeah, for blood gems and stuff like that. Let's try my pistol and see what I can get for that. Nothing. Blunderbuss. Repeating pistol. 13. I ain't bad. I don't use Ludwig's rifle or Evelyn. Can I actually equip the Evelyn, to be honest? Well, I have it bought, but I don't think it... No, I can't equip it yet. It requires 18 blood tinge, which I'm at. Currently, I'm at... Where am I at? 15. Okay, so we need three more of that, and we need, like, a shitload more strength... Strength... To carry the next weapon. So I'm going to buy this real quick. Can't buy any of those. And now, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. So that was definitely a fun little journey we had there. Next time we meet, I'm going to go to Yahar Ghoul. Not that one. The fuck is it? It's not that one either. It must be this one. Then. Nope, son of a bitch. No, it is this one. Uh, Yahar, Yahar, Yahar Ghoul Unseen Village. So I'm going to head there next time. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the Healing Church next. Uh, we're going to go get the key to the Healing Church. And then we're going to head out from there. We're going to head to... Let me think... I head to the Healing Church, take out the two bosses there, get my queen back, and then head back to Yargul and go fight the next big boss, and then go to the Nightmare, fight the next boss, fight the next boss, and then fight the final boss, and then fight the secret final boss. That's it. There you go, folks. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time when we play some more Bloodborne. And real quick, I want to go ahead and see something real fast. I want, to see, I want to see what I can buy with this. See, we got the Blade of Mercy we need to buy. I have 40,000 Blood Echoes, which is ridiculous, by the way. It's a lot of freaking Blood Echoes. So we need to go buy that next time, and that should be about it. Because we can't... Well, why don't we have the Rosemary's? No, we do, don't we? Hold on, let me, let me make sure we have the fucking thing. We have the Flame Spur, but not the Rosemary's, which we get later on, too. So I'll show that. I'll get that later. Anyway, folks, without further, further ado, I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. We'll play some more Bloodborne. And as always, take care, everybody.